Women's state record kingfish. Personal best Dewey for myself. PB Amberjack for Dan. Picture perfect day, guys. Big one, too. Big one, yeah. You! AJ, PB. Nice one. If you're new here, guys, my name's Cliff. I do a lot of spearfishing off southeast Queensland in Australia. This day was particularly good. After chasing garfish around in the shallows, we were pretty warmed up and ready to do some deeper dives. I'm sure you probably have some questions about the garfish, but don't worry, I'll explain that later. When we arrived at this spot, the sounder was completely lit up. Big arches, heaps of bait everywhere, so I'm pretty excited to get down there. There must have been a hundred jewfish in this school. Big kingy circling around the top, big Queensland groper in the background. It's moments just like this that keep me coming back. Now Keisha really wanted to shoot one of those big kingfish, but there was one problem. They were sitting quite deep. These kingies were sitting only just above the bottom and it was about 27 meters to the sand. I dropped down with her just for safety reasons. Now we spotted them off in the distance there, but they were still too far away to shoot. This was going to be a challenge. It's right on the bottom. Yeah. Only one point seven. It's a new PB. Yeah. Nice one. Yeah. I was like, ah. Oh, I don't think I have the breath to chase him. They're quite deep, eh? <laughs> and see if we can get them up. On my next drop, I just went down and laid on the rock. Being surrounded by all this fish life, it was just mesmerizing. On my way back to the surface, the bait fish scatter. The kingies are back. That last dive, there was a big kingy. He was up a bit shallower. Oh, okay. About 20 meters, 18 to 20. We swam back up current and I did a dive on the front edge of the rock where most of the bait was holding. Unfortunately, the kingfish were nowhere to be seen. In the gap between the bait fish, I spot some nice grassy emperor. I spooked the fish when I brought my gun up way too quickly. At this point, I was already planning my next dive. The best chance I have at shooting a grassy is to lay on the sand, throw a bit of sand up, and that normally brings them straight in. What'd you get? 4.4. Oh, that's good. <laughs> it's a huge queen snake over. Oh, really? Yeah, 120 maybe, maybe bigger. Massive, just up here. I stuck to my plan, I went down, threw up a fistful of sand and waited for the grassies to come in. I could see them off in the distance, so I get closer to the bottom, throw up another fistful of sand and just be patient. Good dive. 
grassy and Kingy followed it up. As I was retrieving my grassy, I looked to my left and Keisha's float is going off. It looked like she was really pushing it on the way up, so I made sure to keep a close eye on her because that's exactly where someone will black out. You got him? As Keish swam down past my grassy, she spotted that big kingy that was following it up. Disaster! The kingy tore off. Some wise words from Ben. This wouldn't be Keisha's only chance at a kingfish today. But for now, we're going to move spots, head somewhere shallower, and try and get a few crayfish. Found these two little guys, but they were far too small. This one, however, is just right. In Queensland, we're allowed to shoot crayfish, but we can't take crayfish with berries. And on this cray, I can't see under its tail. So I'm not gonna shoot it, I'm gonna try and grab it. This one had no eggs, so it's coming home for dinner. So the esky was looking pretty good at this point, especially with those garfish. So about the garfish, I'm in a spearfishing club, the Sunny Coast Skin Divers, and we hold an annual Big Ten competition. And one of those categories just so happens to be garfish or whiting. There'll be an episode dedicated to the Big Ten in the very near future. But in the meantime, after a bit of sounding around, we found a really deep bommy that was covered in fish. This rock was covered in a large number of juvenile pearl perch. We have a closed season for pearl perch from the 15th of July to the 15th of August. And it looks like the closures are starting to work. I've been seeing large numbers of pearlies all over the sunny coast. I didn't find much to shoot, but when I jumped back in the boat, Keisha found her kingfish and this one didn't get away. This thing went just over 15 kilos and is the new Women's Queensland State Record. We had one more spot to check before we went in and boy, I'm glad we did. This mackerel was still pretty far away, so I took the safe shot in between the anal and dorsal fin. Spanish mackerel have a lot of bone and sinew in between the anal and dorsal fin, so if you get a good shot there, it's not likely to tear out. Threw my Spanish in the boat, and on the very next dive, I had this little guy charge in. Sorry mate, you missed out on the mackerel. When I got back to the surface, Dan had something to show me. Nice one. Yeah. Big congratulations to Keisha. Well done on the record. Alright guys, that's another episode. If you enjoyed it, please hit that like button. I love hearing from you guys, so get into the comment section. The next episode is going to be on the Big Ten competition. I had to shoot some really epic fish to win that one, so make sure you subscribe and you won't miss it.